with this kind of shock, the spring is actually an air spring. You've heard of like air ride suspension on a bus and that sort of thing. But so this is similar. So what it is, is there's an air chamber in here and you'll note there is a Schrader valve. It's basically the same thing, same kind of valve you'll see on your bicycle. Um, and so that's where you put air in or you take air out. And so through this Schrader valve, it has a little cap, of course, it's where you connect the shock pump. And you'll see there's a gauge on the shock pump. And so why is this the best part of this whole setup? That is because we are using air as our spring. And what that means is we have access to an infinite number of spring rates. So why is this important? So a lot of you are familiar with the black arm, for example, and a lot of other similar uh, camera arms out there. And one of the things you'll notice is they have dual or single spring on each side of the arm. And once you, if you want to add a heavier payload, then you got to take like, I don't know how long, half an hour to an hour to take it all apart and add the dual springs. And, you know, and then if you want even more than that, they might, maybe they have an optional thicker spring. And so essentially it's the same problem, uh, motorcycle racers and racers in, all over the world face, which is where they, when they go from one racetrack to the next, they need to change their springs because each racetrack has a different characteristic and um, you know what worked on the last track doesn't work on this one and so they need to change their spring so essentially you're left with a infinite spring rate and why is that important so that's important for the simple fact that with any sort of suspension design that has a coil spring that spring has a certain range that it works well for so and when we talk about what the range that we're talking about the payload because the, remember again this the purpose of the spring is to support the weight right so if you have a certain given weight you have a certain spring that is designed to hold that weight to a certain height and so when you add more weight to the vehicle in this case, our suspension arm, you put a much heavier camera, you put a much heavier lens, instead of 25 pounds, it's now 35 pounds at the end of your arm. You have a certain amount of adjustment on a coil spring, but at a certain point, you have to stop adjusting it because then you're gonna be putting the spring in a situation where it's not performing. And so in those cases, you'll note some of these other camera systems, camera suspension systems, you take the single spring out and then you add like a double spring, which actually ends up being four springs. And so instead of changing the spring rate, you're just adding more springs. And so there's lots of ways to achieving the same goal. But the main thing is that it'll take half an hour to an hour to disassemble the arm, add the spring or grab a tool and make the, the spring adjustment and all these kind of things. And, and then of course you need the springs. You know, I know of another suspension, camera suspension system out there that comes with three different springs. And you're gonna have to constantly be changing the springs back and forth and back and forth. So with the air oil shock, the most important thing about it is this air oil spring. So with the air spring, essentially you don't ever have to change a spring. So if you're using a Movi Pro with a 15 or 20 pound camera on it, and then the next day somebody calls you and they want to use a Libra head or a Scorpio head or you know, fly to a flight head that weighs 100 pounds with a Millennium XL on it and a 10 to 1. You can use the Cinemilled Action Arm and you can adjust for that much heavier weight in seconds. So using the shock pump, we have here the Schrader valve like I pointed out. You just attach the shock pump to the shock and you just look at the gauge and the more pressure you add to the shock, the more weight it's gonna support. So if all of a sudden the shock was set up for a 30 pound camera on a Movi Pro or whatever, and then now you put on a Ronin 2 with a Panavision lens and it weighs like 45 pounds, all you gotta do is attach the shock pump, put some, put some weight in it, or put some air in it, and now it's ready to support the additional weight. You didn't have to disassemble your arm. You didn't have to attach more, uh, attach a, additional springs, jump through hoops and all this stuff. Essentially, 
with the air spring, you can adjust for a different payload within seconds using the shock pump. So I can't stress this enough how much this is important. 